just very calm natured and very kind, you know, he, he's here, he likes to scrattle, scratch, sorry, he's got his little spots here where you give him a scratch and he'll sort of curl his lips up like this and <laughs> he's very soft, he's a big softy and you know, us girls tend to like the big soft ones. When he came in as a yearling, he was obviously, he's very handsome, he's got his big fluffy forelock that he gets from his dad, so that's always a good start in the books, but then, then their personality is sort of, you know, take them along the way, and because he's always been just so well behaved and so easy to do everything with us for, so he's, um, yeah, he's definitely up there on the list of lovely two-year-old colts that we have. Yeah, you sound my ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty crazy, takes everything in his stride. Um, he does get excited and likes a bit of a bounce around, um, but he's light on his feet and I like that type. <laughs> a lot of your better ones have, uh, uh, you know, that bit of character about them. Um, they're all different, they're much like people. You know, some are like, some are like, leave me alone, uh, and others can't get enough of you. Like this bloke, the more attention you give him, the better. All of the horses, they get a lot of care, and you know, they're, they're animals, they're big animals, they're 500 kilos, but at the end of the day, they, they can't fend for themselves, so we're here to give them everything that they could need, you know, fresh, fresh beds, fresh water, fresh feed, and you know, we're here basically at their beck and calls. A lot of first time owners with the racing leagues, you know, they're like, you know, the horse has been to the dentist uh, once a month, you know, like most people haven't been to the dentist in three years. Uh, and they're like, bloody hell, it gets looked after better than, better than they look after themselves. It'll go out and then he comes home and he has a bath, has a walk on the walker. And then by the time he comes home, he's, um, little luxury apartment will be cleaned and done by the maid service. We're sort of an industry that doesn't stop. We, we come to work 365 days of the year, Easter, Christmas, the rain, the hail, the shine, they go out, they get looked after. It is really an industry that you, you have to love the horses and really enjoy doing it to, to do it every, every day. Um, yeah, I did, my favourite <laughs> my favourite part um, is when you feel the power from the hindquarters when you're quickening through a gallop. Um, obviously, finishing in front of the winning post first is even better again. But I even just the track gallops, I just love feeling the power of a horse accelerating. Yeah, he's he's got a nice bit of strength about him, and he's he's putting the strength and muscle on in the right spots. You know where you see that quality. You know. You can, you can be growing tall, but if you're not putting the strength on in the right spots, you, you're probably only going to get to a level, but he's doing the right things at the moment. I quite like him. Um, he's a bit of a dude, so we'd probably describe him as a yeah, just a dude around the table. He's very calm natured, he's very kind, and it bodes him well in the favouritism around the yard with all of us girls. Yes, definitely one of my favourites. <laughs>